You know, it's interesting you brought the police station up because that's exactly this week what we saw, uh, that there were arrests made uh, regarding that police station in New York because they were up to some sinister activities following, in essence, dissidents. Well, I mean, you're a dissident from China, but following people here in China. Tell us more about this type of operation that we're seeing more and more from the CCP. Absolutely. So the report about the CCP's police station in lower Manhattan broke out last year in September 2022. And the FBI director, Christopher Wray, announced the investigation into the CCP's operation in lower Manhattan in November. So it took about two months for FBI to start taking action. And then today, uh, you know, no, on Monday, on Monday, the, uh, the DOJ announced the arrest of two Chinese nationals who are involved in setting up the secret uh, police station in lower Manhattan. So overall, it took about uh, how many months, like seven months uh, for the DOJ to, um, to bring justice to the CCP's secret police station. So what's more troubling to the Chinese Americans is not the police station in lower Manhattan, it's about a much bigger scheme of the CCP's weaponization of the DOJ, uh, the SEC and uh, FBI and other federal government agencies. Because back in 2017, a DOJ employee, his name is George Hagenbotham, he walked into the CCP's embassy in Washington, D.C., and agreed to, to take a 41 million US dollar to do CCP's dirty bidding in the United States of America, and that is to influence the DOJ and the White House to return Mr. Mao Skuo to China. Mr. Mao Skuo is CCP enemy number one, and he's also uh, you know, part of the uh, lobbying effort on the um, uh, one MDB scandal, uh, which also involves like a you know, multi-billion uh, US dollar. Thank you.